Do you have a diagnosed or undiagnosed itis? Well, we have exercise tips for you. Hey, welcome back everybody to this week's edition of Two Minute Tuesdays. Now this week we're talking about a common complaint that we hear a lot and that is an itis issue. How do you exercise if you have an itis issue such as tendonitis, bursitis, plantar fasciitis, something like that? The first thing is the amount of motion that you're doing. The second point we're going to be reviewing is how you move. So we first want to check how you're moving relative to the motion that the exercise might ask you to do. And so for Julie, what we're looking at is how much motion she has at her hips, at her knees, and at her ankles that are gonna be required of this leg press. So while she's in this position, she can pull her knee towards her chest to make sure she has the requisite amount of motion and she can do the same thing on the other side. And again, we want to match the starting position to the amount of motion that she has, making sure that she can lift her feet off the plate by moving at the knee and moving at the hip. Now the second aspect of this is the amount of motion that you're using while you're exercising. And our rule of thumb is to start with less and gradually go towards more. And start with more the middle motion or more the mid-range of the motion and gradually work towards the extremes. So for Julie, what we would start with her is very little motion coming out of this position and then slowly back down. And then over time, over a few sets or over a few weeks, we would gradually creep her chair closer so then she's able to move through more of her extremes. The second point we brought up was how you're moving. The first thing you really need to be mindful of are your ends, which is when the weight leaves the weight stack and Charlie's turnaround point. So Charlie's gonna demo how most people do it in the gym, which is what we don't recommend. See how he's going pretty quick. Now Charlie, I want you to slow this down and really show me exactly where you start and stop. So wherever he's gonna turn around, he's gonna pause and really be stable in this position. And then he's gonna go place that weight back down without slamming the weight stack, making sure he's in control the entire time. The other thing you can adjust with changing how you're moving is the angle. So on a leg press, you can change your hip angle. So Charlie can leg press anywhere from this position. He can also make his feet a bit wider and angle his feet and toes out a little bit. So play with that when you're working with an itis so that these exercises can feel as beneficial as possible without being as taxing as possible. Check out an expanded version of this on our blog and tune in next week Tuesday for another two minute topic.